Before the video begins, I want to say thank you to Pokemon Company International. This video would not even exist without them. They sent me a whole bunch of awesome, awesome products, uh, and I'm just, I'm stunned, honestly. So, uh, hashtag free product, hashtag ad, baby. Gamers, what's one thing that I always say? Hmm. I like Pokemon. This video is kind of awesome for me because as many of you know, I have been a Pokemon fan for over 20 years now. Like this is a franchise that has been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. Like I was a little kid who was into the anime, who was into the stuffed animals, the toys, the cards, the video games, all of it. Like I have an old journal from when I was like a very young kid writing about my upcoming birthday and just wanting Pokemon stuff. Like literally a sheet of paper covered in just the sentence, I want Pokemon stuff and like naming every toy and game and everything that I wanted. So it was a humongous surprise when a couple months ago, Pokemon reached out to me and asked if I wanted to be a part of the PR packages that they sent out for the new Pokemon Go trading card game expansion, which is really freaking cool. Like, I mean, the expansion itself is an awesome concept because you have this game that's sort of like a side game to the main franchise that they're making exclusive cards for, but also just the level of detail that they captured in the set is really, really cool. Anyway, they sent me this giant PR box, which is like, it's way too big to even, I think, like fit in the frame of this camera. I think I'd have to like lean back backwards through the wall behind me for me to actually show it off here on camera but it was full of so many Pokemon goodies and I am just stunned again at the amount of stuff that they decided to send me because like who the heck am I there's so many Pokemon creators out there there's so many people who have like loved the franchise as much as me and occasionally like yeah I'll do a Pokemon themed cosplay or I'll like open Pokemon cards up on my Twitch channel or whatever. Just the fact that I am a huge Pokemon fan and I have a passion for it, I guess was enough. And I like, I, I talk about this franchise all the time. I talk about like my favorite Pokemon. We have an Eevee and a Jolteon badge for like the Twitch sub badges over on my Twitch channel. I have like the plushies in the background, some of the cards displayed. Like this is just something that permeates a lot of my life. And it's a hobby and an interest of mine that I am not afraid to share. I do it all the time. So I'm so glad that that passion for this is something that made them select me to be a part of this because it's just really freaking cool. Now, Morgan and I opened a majority of the Pokemon Go card uh, products that were sent to us by Pokemon uh, during one of the live streams that I did a while ago. I got all dressed up in like e-girl, girl beagly Pokemon trainer cosplay. So that was super, super fun. But again, just super flattered to be given these opportunities and get to show off something that's relatively new and something that again is right in line with my interests and passions and i get to like talk about it in this really authentic genuine way because like i have big love for this franchise if you couldn't tell so that was really fun that i got to do that and a lot of the people from the community hyped it up but i was just like oh neat that's awesome i got to work with like one of these big companies that i've dreamt about working with for as long as i can remember that's really really cool glad i got to do that you know i'll add it to sort of like my portfolio of big like milestones and accomplishments and I'm gonna go on with my life. Lo and behold, uh, close to the end of August, I got another uh, message from the Pokemon company, basically being like, hey, we wanna send you some more stuff uh, for a reveal that we're doing on September 1st. Paired with that, there were some uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, the upcoming video game that I'm like super psyched for. There was some like teases about the lore of that that seemed like a little little bit ominous especially due to the fact that like the Pokemon social media team had been putting up all these like cryptic videos and like nature documentary style stuff and like just really interesting off the beaten path kind of like AR marketing like augmented reality weird stuff that I really love personally I thought it was really cool and I wasn't really sure how the upcoming PR package was going to tie into that so it's something that I was like thrilled to hear about and I was like yeah sign me up immediately Ugh. 
Oh god, it's wooden, it's so heavy. God, jeez. It's actually made out of cardboard, but it's really nice. It's got like the official Pokemon Scarlet and Violet logo all over it. And it's made to look like a wooden crate, which I love because it sort of fits in with the sort of like jungle forest theme that's going on in the Paldea region. And I'm just... I love it. I love all the aesthetic that like Pokemon puts into the, all of their marketing. It's just, their packaging is awesome. Again, those of you who follow me on Twitter and Twitch, you already got a sneak peek of a lot of this because I showed it off there already. But uh, we have a box full of leaves. Like, look at all these leaves. I actually really like the leaves a lot because they are made out of paper or like cardboard or something like that. They are not the stereotypical like packing peanuts or those like really annoying like paper worm things that they add into some packages where like it just gets all over the place. It makes a huge mess. And then like sometimes when like the packaging stuff is those like plastic airbag things, like I just feel like that's like really wasteful a lot of the time. Not to mention these are like little leaves. Like it just fits the theme. Again, Pokemon marketing, you're just knocking it out of the park. It looks really cool. It fits in with the theme of the game. And I like the fact that it's paper because it's like biodegradable. So when I throw it out or recycle it or whatever i'm gonna feel a lot less you know crappy about that so thank you anyway sifting through the leaves the first thing that i came across were these little polaroids here these are so cool they have the date of september 1st uh 2022 which was the reveal of the pokemon that was hinted about in these polaroids now the social media team put up very similar images to this on twitter and other social media and everyone was like really confused. A lot of people were guessing that it was going to be a Pokemon that was related to Smeargle, who is like the painting Pokemon. But they put out like a fake little like nature doc about a new Pokemon in the Peldia region called Grafaii, who is this like disgusting looking little like gremlin guy like i guess he just graffitis on things like he just goes around the forest graffitiing on like rocks and trees and stuff and he looks kind of gross and i really love him for that he just like looks like a disgusting little like painty like sticky gremlin guy i love it stickers are always a big hit so thank you to pokemon for sending me these especially because they have some of the meme boys on this like we already saw a lot of virality around lechonk because how could you not love this dude? He's just a little pig with the name LeChonk. Like, please. The other fan favorite being Smolov here, whose name I believe is probably just for Small Olive. He is just a little small guy. And it's so funny to me that someone in a Pokemon boardroom was basically just like, hmm, we've already sold them ice cream. We've already monetized keys. What else could we monetize? That's just a regular everyday object. By Jove, I've got it. Olives. Olives. Let's see if we can sell them olives. I mean, they slapped a face on an olive, made him look cute and helpless, and we are all going to buy it. Like, please tell me that we're not going to buy it. We're all going to buy it. They have our money. This cool little, like, PR promo sort of lore sheet came in this package as well. Basically just describing that there was going to be a big reveal on September 1st, which was Grafaii. And also hinting at like having cameras ready, which I was so confused about because again, a lot of the social media marketing had like pictures of the forest and there's these little Polaroids that came in the PR package. And now mentions of cameras. So I was like, are they trying to weave in some connection between this upcoming set of games and the new Pokemon Snap game that came out that I really love personally? And I was like, that would be kind of cool if there's like a little bit of lore crossover or something. Nope, none of those things. They just wanted to send a camera to some of us. Pokemon sent me a freaking Instax camera. This is the Instax Mini 40, which I did some research on. So it's basically just a, you point it at things, you click the button, it prints out the photo, and then just like olden times, you just sit there and you wait for it to develop, and voila, you have a new photo. But I love that it has sort of like a vintage design. It's like a really really nice piece of equipment and it's something that I can use for non Pokemon things as well. So like that is just really dope. Like this is something I'm going to be using. Anyway, I was blown away and I just kind of wanted to share with the community, especially because I've been sort of trying to get the momentum on YouTube up again 
those of you who have been stopping by and supporting the videos thank you so much for that i saw that ethan gave me a little shout out the other day for my most recent horror video and that was like really really awesome of him to do so those of you who have stopped by because of his community like thank you so much those of you who have been here for a while and have been just waiting for me to start posting again thank you for being patient thank you for coming back thank you for supporting like there's so many kind comments on the channel and it's just nice to see some activity here again and it's nice to edit and upload again i've been having a blast so i thought why not share a really cool accomplishment of mine because again i've been working really hard over the years i've been doing this for almost 10 years now and i remember pokemon being one of those companies when i started making content where i was like man they're so big they're like so out of reach there's no way that i'll ever ever work with them in any official capacity and now they're sending me free stuff they send me a freaking camera like that is unreal and i know that it sounds kind of cliche and silly to say this especially from someone who's like already made it but there were times that you know i was making videos that were getting 20 views on youtube you know it was something that i put a lot of time and effort into and i've worked my butt off and I just want to remind people again, as cliche as this sounds, like, you know, set goals, like set like your sights for the stars, look for those big companies you want to work with or those opportunities that you want to pursue. And who knows, maybe you'll get there. Like there's no guarantee that your hard work's going to pay off, but like you might as well try because like, look at what's happening here for me. Like I'm unbelievably overwhelmed that I get this opportunity and these are opportunities I wouldn't have without the support of this community so thank you so much for being here and giving me shot after shot and sharing in my passions and special interests and things like that like when I want to talk about them like this is really cool this is very surreal that like this gigantic company like sure i might just be another influencer pr push for them in some ways like they are a giant multi-billion dollar company but like their brand and what they do has meant a lot to me personally over the years and there's someone there acknowledging that and identifying that and wanting to work together in like a really organic, like genuine way. Like nothing about this process has felt like it was like just a PR stunt. Like, yes, we both mutually get stuff out of it, but like it's been one of the easier companies that I've been able to work with, which just solidifies them as one of my favorites of all time even more. Like this is just, it's outstanding. It's fantastic. Anyway, I've rambled long enough like I always do. Uh, you guys know what to do. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye bye. Sure,